We're learning the largest fentanyl bust in Border Patrol history happened right here in Arizona just last month. Last month, Customs and Border Protection officers at the Lukeville Port of Entry seized 4 million fentanyl pills. That's a big load. Weighing more than 1,000 pounds, it was the largest fentanyl seizure in the agency's history. The leading cause of death in America right now amongst the ages of 18 to 45 in America is fentanyl poisoning. The DEA says more than half of the fentanyl pills recovered in the U.S. last year were found in Arizona. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb knows pills that aren't seized are making it to other states. Every single sheriff will tell you that every state is a border state now. Border officials say it was a 20-year-old American citizen transporting the drugs in this case. The people that are trafficking drugs are oftentimes American citizens being paid by the cartels. They've never changed the way they do it. We still find drugs the same way we found them, you know, 10 years ago. Tells me that we're probably not even hitting them at their acceptable loss margin. Days later, a 45-year-old Mexican citizen was caught also at the Lukeville port of entry, accused of transporting more than 270 pounds of meth. The drug street value in the two busts? More than $12.5 million. We potentially saved a lot of American lives. A dent in what remains an ongoing crisis in our nation, and along our state's border. And a load like what the CBP just got will just illustrate how bad it is. Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.